Dear Wild Hunters friends, welcome back uh, to the channel. Hope everything fine with you and your families. Okay, I'm back with uh, the new uh, Sabati Rover Classic Hunter Pro bolt action rifle. Uh, this is the second part of the field hunting test. The first part was held in South Africa and I strongly suggest you to watch all the videos, the numerous videos that I have done at the Grace Gift Lodge in Grahamstown, South Africa. It was a great safari. We, me and my buddy Ferdinando were able to, to shoot a lot of uh, game, African game animals at uh, many different distances of shooting and uh, very, uh, it was a, a very successful uh, safari. Uh, we have learned a lot of the numerous features of this new uh, bolt action by Sabati. We were very happy and satisfied about the safari and the way this bolt action uh, gave us uh, all the opportunities to make a, a great safari. Uh, we have uh, experienced all the uh, features, the technical features of, uh, of this uh, new bolt action, especially the comfort of shooting, the ergonomy, the accuracy. So now it's time to hunt with this uh, trio, with uh, the Yukon Jaeger scope and the uh, Contessa rings, the tactical HP rings, and a new ammunition uh, reloaded with a, a new uh, powder by Baschieri and Pellagri. Here in Europe, especially in Italy, in Tuscany, where I hunt for wild boar, both uh, for uh, selezione and both uh, for, uh, for the culling, okay, to protect the crops. It is obvious that uh, a 300 Winchester Magnum caliber is a little bit uh, more than enough for this. But uh, I want to test it because uh, also for wild boar, uh, obviously uh, changing my, my ammunition with a, a different reloading. And uh, I'm going to give you all the details, the de details of, about this new ammunition in, in brief, uh, because I have to adapt uh, the ammunition to the size and the type of game. Because the wild boar, the normal, uh, the average wild boar is about 40 kilos, 50 kilos. So I don't need the same ammunition that I have used in South Africa for taking down uh, wild beast uh, and, uh, and the kudu, which are 400 kilos uh, animals, okay? So I have to uh, prepare a new recipe, a new ammunition. But above all, uh, the, the habitat was completely different. The temperature uh, were different uh, from, from comparing what I will expect uh, to find here. So it is very important uh, to have a 100% view of the, of the performance and the possibilities, uh, the potentiality of this uh, new bolt action by Sabati, using it in a normal contest, okay? Because uh, it is obvious that in Africa uh, the, the difficulties uh, uh, where uh, as if you if you watch my videos you can see we we have faced very bad weather and uh, and two uh, and also uh, very good weather but with very high temperatures so we put it uh, at the extreme okay at the extreme uh, condition but now I want to test it also in a normal condition okay just to verify if uh, all the features of the good ergonomy, all the things that I have uh, appreciated in Africa could be also appreciated here, okay? In, in, in a special way, I want to talk to you about uh, the muzzle brake that I have, have strongly appreciated in Africa, so I want to see if uh, this is uh, something that could be useful also here, also the caliber, the 300 Winchester Magnum, 
and uh, also I want to talk to you uh, about uh, a new uh, feature that Sabati has discovered in the last uh, uh, months using uh, this, uh, this uh, new Sabati rover uh, in a different uh, situation. Okay, I'm talking about the, the two screws that uh, uh, are, are, are employed to uh, stretch uh, the, and to uh, joint the, the stock with the action of the, of the rifle. Normally, normally, uh, the, mm, normally we use uh, a, a dynamometric uh, uh, tool that uh, um, we use to regulate at 4 newton the screw, okay, the rear screw, and uh, uh, about 4.5 newton uh, the front screw. But uh, after some test, we have discovered that if you uh, tight this one at 6 newton, the rear one, and the front one at 7 newton, uh, you can experience uh, a better uh, uh, performance uh, in terms of, the, of uh, group. Okay? It, the groups are tighter and, and this, is a, uh, this is a great advantage. Uh, in Sabati they have tested uh, various uh, uh, regulation of the tightening of the screw uh, starting from 3 newton until 10 which is the limit to the limit, the breakage limit of the screws, and they have discovered that using the couple six seven, you can experience the best groups in in, in shooting. So it is strongly recommended that you use this uh, uh, type of tightening, but but only in the sabbati. Uh, uh, firearms, so, so only the Sabati bolt action, especially in this new rover. Don't do it with other type of, uh, of guns or rifles because uh, uh, the screws and all the things that uh, uh, are used to, to mount uh, everything here are different. Uh, they are uh, built in, with other materials, so uh, other type of steel, so maybe you can break them. So it is strongly recommend 6 and 7 Newton only with this rifle, okay? And you will experience a better uh, group experience, okay? Now it's time to go shooting at the shooting range to zero in the, our trio with the, uh, the, a new ammunition uh, made with the, the new Baschieri and Pellagri carbon powder. I'm gonna give you uh, now the new recipe and then we will go hunting for wild boar. See you very soon.
Dear Wild Hunters friends, welcome to the test of this new Sabati Rover Classic Hunter Pro. Uh, my choice for the first attempt is a very nice place uh, here. We have uh, some woods there, some fields, uh, some olive uh, field there. So uh, there is a, a, a small river down there. So an ideal place uh, for uh, male roe deer and wild boar. Uh, the main difficulties here are two. The first one is that uh, the animals will uh, come out uh, at, the, at the last lights of the day, so it will be very difficult. And the second one is the, the distance of shooting, because uh, here is about 100, between 180 and 400 meters. So with the, with, the, with the light is not a problem, but when the light is fading down, it could be very, it's not an easy task. But anyway, we have done a lot of good job in, in South Africa, so I'm pretty sure that uh, we will continue very well with this uh, new Sabati Rover Classic Hunter Pro. Let's start the test. This is uh, my view from uh, my blind. It's a really nice and interesting place. It's well protected from the sun because we have the frown, the, the sun in front uh, and also it's protected by the winds which is uh, is blowing actually from our back so staying here is very useful so the animals cannot detect me it's a very long shot but anyway I have a 300 Winchester Magnum so I'm a pretty confident about this I'm sure I will uh, make a great test also here in Tuscany, not only in South Africa. Now there 
Javier Wild Hunters friends, here I am with my two first uh, uh, trophies, Italian Tuscany trophies, uh, a nice uh, roe deer that I have shot uh, at uh, almost uh, 150 meters. Uh, he jumped, unfortunately due to the muzzle break report, uh, the, the camera uh, turned uh, on the right, so, uh, but uh, the animal uh, went uh, just uh, uh, 10 yards from uh, the, the, the place where I have shot it and collapsed there. It, it, it has been, uh, the, the, the shot has been placed uh, very well at the shoulder, in plain shoulder, so no way. Then uh, at the very, very last uh, li uh, light of the day, I have spotted this big wild boar at the 187 meter. It was very dark, uh, just uh, seven, eight minutes before the legal time. Uh, I decided to give it a try, and I was lucky because there was uh, a, a tractor that was coming home, and uh, it gave me just a little bit light to see the eyes, and then I, I placed the red dot of my Yukon Jaeger scope just uh, uh, at the shoulder. I let it off, and I took it uh, just in the shoulder, a very nice shot. I'm very happy for that. And okay, a nice start. Let's uh, let's uh, continue the test. Okay, now I have taken out uh, the muzzle brake because uh, it generates uh, a lot of problems with uh, with camera with my video camera so I want to I wanted to take it out and now I am at the shooting range because probably uh, it will uh, affect uh, the the zeroing so I'm gonna check at 100 meters and uh, 200 meters how the things uh, are going without the muzzle break okay and then we will continue hunting in the field Okay, now I'm gonna shoot. Uh, uh, I have already shot three. Uh, you can see three holes here, but uh, I have done it with another firearm. So now I'm gonna shoot uh, with uh, the same central dot as it was, uh, as I used it before. So I want to check out uh, how this, uh, this uh, bullet can migrate between uh, uh, the two f different phases, one with the with the muzzle brake, the other one without. Okay, let's see what's happened. I'm very high, as you can see. So, the presence of the muzzle brake, it completely changed uh, the zeroing. This is, is very important to know. So now I have to go down at least 12, 20 clicks and uh, I'm too much to the left also. So, as you can see, everything changes with, uh, with a simple taking out of the muzzle brake. You can see I'm still on the right and very high, so I have to give more clicks and I will be okay. Sì, 
It took uh, at least uh, other four shots to be dead on because uh, the recoil and uh, the muzzle jump uh, now it's something that you, that you can uh, you have to face it. Uh, I was uh, accustomed to shoot uh, with this uh, rifle and it looks like a 243. Winchester now is a 300, a true 300 Winchester Magnum. So the, um, the recoil pad and the stock are okay, so uh, I don't suffer the recoil, so I'm okay. But uh, at least uh, uh, for the first shots, uh, I had to, to, to be careful uh, for, the, for the trigger and for the muzzle jump. So it took uh, at least four shots be before going exactly inside the bullseye. Uh, now I want to go out uh, hunting for wild boas and this is uh, the right caliber especially for the big ones as you have seen uh, uh, previously and uh, I will not face uh, any problem uh, with uh, my video camera that worked uh, per perfectly during the, these uh, shots uh, so I can uh, do the test uh, and the video test uh, in the right way that uh, I, I pretend to do. Okay, let's see you again in the hunting field. bellissimo tiro ha fatto 50 metri e è andata in terra fantastico at the last light of the day nine wild boars came out I have chosen the biggest one it was uh, at 171 meter so I, take, I took my time I let, I let off the shot and uh, I hit it very hard. You make a, a, a wide turn, about 30 meters, and then it collapsed. Everywhere I go with my Sabati Hunter Classic Pro, and there is all, always a great result. I'm very happy. Now let's go and see the, the animal. It's nice. essere qui nel campo qui a pochi metri eccolo qua qui davanti a me the animal is right here it's a medium size animal è un animale di metà mezza grandezza l'animale comunque eccolo qua eccolo qua preso benissimo al cuore eccolo qua benissimo sono veramente soddisfatto I was eager to 
I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied about uh, uh, the, the, this test, uh, this Italian test with the wild boars. It was uh, very important for me to make uh, something a little bit different than uh, the African safari. And I'm very satisfied because uh, I have taken three shots and three wonderful animals. I couldn't expect uh, to, to do better. But uh, you know when uh, you have uh, a trio like this, uh, you can uh, achieve uh, whatever result uh, you want, whatever tar target, uh, you don't have a limit. This is the question, you don't have uh, really any limit with this Sabatti new Rover Classic Hunter Pro. Well, 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 here yeah, it is my little cull wild boar. I came here at the very first light of the day. After five minutes that I was on the place, uh, I saw this uh, small wild boar coming uh, to the woods. I followed it, I followed it uh, for 20 meters. Then he stopped it for, for God's sake because uh, during the movement it was very difficult to, to aim it. It stopped it just in the li at the limit of the woods uh, so I, I took my shot. I switched it on and uh, pushed the direct button of my camera but I dubbed that uh, uh, the footage has come very well because it was almost dark, still dark. But anyway, it was a, a great shot for me because it was uh, very dark conditions. So this sight mark uh, scope uh, was fantastic. And uh, at the shot, uh, the animal jumped in the air and went inside the bush. I, I followed uh, for 10 yards the, the, the blood and I found it uh, just here. So I, I, I really wanted to, to make longer this test that started in South Africa and, uh, and ended up here in Italy, in Tuscany. Uh, I, am, uh, I am fully uh, satisfied about the new Sabati rover, so uh, I think that uh, it's, a, it's, a great, uh, it's a great rifle, very modern and uh, reliable, very accurate. So now this test is finished, but it it, it continues. I, I will continue to, to test uh, this rifle and the scout version in another video test because I'm going to test uh, some special uh, lead free bullets by Sabati, the MRR bullets, which is the acronym of multi radial rifling bullets. Uh, I strongly suggest you to follow up this uh, video test, it's very interesting. Uh, this uh, new generation bullets of lead-free bullets. Uh, that I will do it uh, in the 300 Winchester Magnum and uh, also the 308. So I will use this rifle for, uh, for with the 167 grain lead-free uh, MRR bullets. And then with the Scout, which is chambered in 308 Winchester, I will use the 152 grains. Oh, we will, I will see you again on the hunting field test. Very interesting, obviously, on Wild Hunters One Man Band YouTube channel. See you very soon.